Hello, and thank you all for joining. My name is Sonara Marsh, and today I'm going to take you through our techni a technical demonstration of our latest release of the Cloud Workload Protection Platform. Now, I'm really excited about this particular release because we've been talking at VMware about intrinsic security for quite some time, and being historically from Carbon Black and coming into this organization about a year ago now, it's really been us trying to understand how are we going to solve the security problems? How are we going to start break, breaking down different silos that exist between IT and security? VMware historically working with vAdmins and IT and infrastructure, whereas Carbon Black historically worked in the, in the security industry, right? How do we combine these forces so that we can start breaking down those silos and providing more unified information? And hopefully that unified information starts leading you to time to resolution, optimizing that time to resolution and understanding your gaps. What workload protection is doing is it is giving us that first step for IT to begin operationalizing security. And when I say this, what I mean is that this workloads release actually has a built-in Carbon Black integration or plugin through vSphere. So as a V admin, if you need to operationalize security, one of the first things that we need to understand is what are our gaps in terms of protection, right? Where are my virtual assets protected or unprotected from a security perspective? So the Carbon Black plugin actually gives you that complete inventory so you can see and assess what assets are enabled from a security perspective and which ones uh, are currently unprotected as mentioned. Now this now gives you, because we are built in through VM tools, we don't have to manage agent delivery to these virtual workloads. This is something where you can one click enable carbon black on these assets, or we can update and handle lifecycle management right through vSphere. Now, the key component that we have to understand in this process is that it's one thing to deploy car, uh, security to these assets, but we also have to ensure that it persists. So outside of being able to deploy and update on these assets with no hard reboot, the other benefit is that customers or end users don't have the capability to disable carbon black locally on the endpoint. Carbon Black actually has built-in tamper protection so that we can ensure, even if you're an administrative admin, you cannot tamper or disable our services unless you have the password protected uh, code. So this is something that now you're assessing your gaps, you're able to one-click deploy to these assets or built in through VM tools so that we are providing an ease of management from that agent perspective. And we're optimizing, uh, optimizing performance on those virtual machines. Now, once you're deployed to these assets, if we're going to operationalize security, we should also be able to assess what risks we're posing to our organization on these machines. These virtual workloads or servers here, we wanna be able to understand if we're deploying this out, what are the vulnerabilities that exist? So this is actually very neat uh, and powerful because this vulnerability assessment that we just released is actually powered through our OS query capabilities. Now, OS query, if you're not familiar, actually creates a virtualized database of your operating system so that in a scanless manner, we're able to assess your current state posture. So now we have the capability to pull back OS query data, such as what applications are installed locally on your machine, on your systems, uh, what patches are applied, what OS versions are we working with, and we take that information pulled back from OS query, again, scanless, so this is instant gratification in a sense, where you can assess your posture. And we correlate that back with Kenna Security. Now, Kenna Security is very well known within the industry, uh, but what they provide us, and you guys don't need a subscription, it's just built into our service here. We actually correlate those applications to understand if there's associated vulnerabilities, and Kenna provides a ranking or prioritization based on criticality and exploitability, right? It's one thing to identify 
1500 vulnerabilities that exist in your environment, but you can't patch all 1500, right? We need to prioritize our efforts and we wanna make sure outside of just criticality, what's the exploitability, right? How likely is an adversary to leverage this as a vector into my environment? So we're able to prioritize these critical vulnerabilities and unlike some other vulnerability assessment tools that say, hey, CBE X is on a hundred different systems or you have a hundred alerts with the same CVE number, we are actually able to correlate that so that you can view the vulnerability view and this actually uh, rolls it up so that you could see an asset count. So that if this existed on a hundred systems rather than seeing a hundred alerts, you would be able to roll it up and see CVE 2017 here has a hundred different assets that it's impacting. On any of these vulnerabilities, if this is something that is so critical that we need instant gratification again on whether this gets patched appropriately or not, because we have open APIs, we can tie into your different patching tools and we can discuss those workflows further. But we also have the capability to reassess now. This is that instant gratification saying, hey, I applied this patch on my particular system. Let's make sure that it took and let's make sure that we have the updated information. So through vSphere, you can assess your vulnerabilities that are prioritized by criticality and exploitability. And we can reassess if you ever apply a patch and need to understand where it may not have applied. So this is us taking that step in terms of breaking down the silos between IT and security, right? IT needs to be able to operationalize security, deploy onto the assets and ensure that it's protected. But now we go into the side of the story with security, right? This is, this is what Carbon Black is familiar with and what we've known. But what's interesting here is that if we are um, operationalizing security and we are applying different vulnerability patches and whatnot, Security now needs to understand what is the assumed risk. I think it's a, a, a very blanketed assumption to assume that any critical and exploitable vulnerability that's identified, you're going to be able to patch. That's not often the case. Uh, think back to something like WannaCry. It leveraged SMB v1. It was highly exploitable. We knew uh, that that was something that uh, adversaries leveraged in the past and needed to be patched but it's not appropriate to patch in all situations. So this is something that we understand, it can't be patched. So security, you now through the Carbon Black Cloud Console, even though you have the same information, your intent is probably a little different, right? You probably need to understand of those critical vulnerabilities that are still persisting on, in this case, two different assets, what is that assumed risk? What are those exploitable vulnerabilities? But then we can start to talk about carbon black from that security perspective again, right? We need to perhaps in this situation where we see that there are two assets with 15 critical vulnerabilities, maybe we move those two assets into a higher prevention policy. Maybe we run a different, uh, an, another set of queries on those assets to understand what else is going on outside of those vulnerabilities, right? We want to keep a closer eye on it. Maybe we create more watch lists. And this is where we get into the prevention, detection, and response side of the security house. But this workload release, if I'm just baselining uh, some of the additional functionality outside of what already exists with NGAV and EDR and, and our query capabilities, we are giving you a way to break down the communication barriers and silos that exist between IT and security. So IT can operationalize security. And so security, you can understand what your assumed risk is on these assets and respond accordingly. So hopefully this presentation was helpful to give you a high level overview of what we are calling workload protection. There's obviously enhancements that will continue to come down the line, uh, but we are getting one step closer to providing you guys intrinsic security through VMware. Thank you. And if you have any other questions, reach out to your Carbon Black or VMware representative for a deeper dive on this product.